So guys, as I said, in the, uh, if, if you have visited the last slot I believe you had, I'm in IT since beginning of 80s. You know, when I was a child, uh, there were mostly or mainly two computers. One was Commodore 64 that I mentioned, and you know for sure the other one with the rubbers, right? So ZX Spectrum 48K, and there were always like the wars. Okay, you know, we have better basic, yes, but we have better sound and this and that, you know. So IT is, IT is the thing that I know how, how to do for, for all my life, I would say for over 30 years now, you know. And somehow, or not somehow, I was always interested about information security. It was mid of 80s, in, the, in this still X country, you know, we had three IT magazines. Maybe you could help me just to name them up. One was from Slovenia that I like to read a lot, and it was Moj Mikro, bravo. And the other two were from Serbia. The one was Računari, and the last one, Svet Computer, exactly. So, guys, this is where we were learning things, you know. And then I got Amiga 500, imagine this, you know, with floppy disk, it was super quick, 1.44 megabyte diskettes, can you imagine this, you know. And then there were articles, these were great magazines, this is why I'm mentioning it. And there were articles about coding, about assembler, about C, you know. There was no C++ even at that time, you know. So I was learning it. And then I was writing my first computer virus, you know, for Amiga 500. And it worked in the following way. Uh, how many of you had Amiga? Come on, at least one. No? Okay, dokie. Anyway, the floppy disk had the protection. 3.5-inch uh, diskette had the protection. So you just had a small click, you know, and write protected and not write protected. And I would write a, a boot sector virus. It is in 50 lines maximum, you know, that checks if your floppy disk is protected. And if it isn't, then it writes itself to the boot sector. And then when you insert another disk, after resetting Amiga, it stays in the memory and it writes itself over to a new floppy disk. And then it can do whatever you want, just to show some message or whatever it is, you know. So these are my basics about IT. How our presentation is going to look like? I have to admit I stole this sentence from a famous drama from 1839 or something like that. They were not saying about pen testing, but about the pen itself, you know. So, but today the pen testing,